Welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We are here for the final word, Republic of Ireland 3, New Zealand 1. It's myself, Paul Neal, and I'm joined by Gary Spain as always. And uh, yeah, we're here to chat about the game. We obviously got the line up the day beforehand, so we knew what the team was going to be. You had O'Hara in goal, uh, Leo Connor at right back, then you had um, Kevin Long, Kieran Clark, and uh, Derek Williams at left back. In midfield, you had Josh Cullen, Jack Byrne, and Alan Brown. And on the left, you had um, Sean McGuire. And then up front, leading the line, Troy Parrott with Robbie Brady on his right. Not far off the, the start 11. I, I picked in the start 11 show. Obviously, you were away in Greece um, with the women's uh, team, so you didn't do any of the lineups. But if you were doing the start 11 with me at the time, would you have changed much of the pit team I picked? Yeah, no, I probably, yeah, I probably expected, uh, I think, James Collins to to start as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether that means he's a real option for Monday night, but that's another discussion. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I I probably wouldn't have got as close to mixed team as you did, so I'll put my hands up on that one. No, no, okay. Well, look, either way, I was just happy to see a bit of youth mixed in with a a bit of experience. Obviously, the two centre-backs were experienced enough at international level. Uh, Derek Williams, I thought was was very good last night. Actually, um, yeah, he, he himself no hard. The only problem well, is he's injured yeah. now. You know, he's a calf yeah. injury, so unfortunately, he's out for the. He, he's one for the future, though. I think, and he is the backup now to Ender Stevens. That's, yeah, I think that's. Um, I mean, he is. A, I prefer to have people in the proper positions. I know you, you have different theories about getting your best players on the pitch, which is what the women's team did actually. But that's another story. But. It's a balance between having players in their right positions, and it, I think Derek Williams is a very good left full back, yeah. and uh, as, as is Enda Stevens. Yeah, but he plays centre back for Blackburn. Is the only thing. Yeah, I think he can play anywhere. But yeah. he actually started off. I remember seeing him underage, and he was playing left back as well. So, yeah, no, he was um, good. I remember him against France, yeah. and I always go back to that game. So he didn't do a whole lot wrong. Um, yeah. That was the game Rice played in. I think it was his debut. Got man the match, but uh, that said about him the bear. But <laughs> but just that game, it was he, he yeah. played in that game, and Graham Burke actually played funny enough in that game too. He nearly scored um, actually. Yeah, but um, yeah. Williams, I thought defensively was solid, and yeah. then he was never really seen again after that. Like I don't think I don't remember playing another game after that till yeah. uh, the the last set of uh, games. And he's playing week in week out with Blackburn as well, yeah. which is and a, he's been scoring goals set. as well, yeah. I believe. Um, I haven't really watched much of Blackburn myself now. So I'm not I, tell I you haven't why, either, but yeah. I, I, I have mm. checked the line. Red reports. And he's, and he's on, yeah. Red reports, and he's on, he's on the team sheet. Yeah. So. Well, I thought he'd done well, and I thought he was an outlet for us, and I thought Leo Connor was as well. The two of them stayed nice and high, and at times, Maguire, I know he's playing at the left, but he wasn't really left because he was kind of drifting. Yeah, because I yeah. think he's more of a centre forward. You yeah, know? but he had a bit of a free yeah. role. I thought sometimes you'd see him on the right hand side, then you'd see him kind of centrally. And I think Troy was kind of pulling people out of position as well. Yeah. Well, uh, I think, yeah, the, the, the New Zealand didn't offer much of a threat on either flank. So I think it's particularly on Derek Williams' flank that he had a lot of room to bomb up and yeah. down. The um, only thing uh, I will say about him is, is he, he he reminds me of a centre-back just in terms of his touch. I think Ender Stevens would have got the ball down a lot quicker and done, done better with okay. certain... Chances. Um, he did have our first chance. I remember Adam Brown got a lovely turn. It was like kind of like a Cruyff turn, but it wasn't. And he whipped in a ball, and Williams kind of came in. It was on his right foot, and he just hit it wide. Yeah, that was a good chance. Actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was the only real first chance in the fifteen minutes and the first yeah. fifteen minutes. Sorry. And then um, there was the chance. Sean McGuire got him one on one, and uh, the ball kind of got stuck under his feet. I was sitting, so my mate came at me, and he was uh, he was saying, "Oh no, you should be buried." I. Just, got caught under his feet because yeah. we had the monitor beside us as well where we were sitting and um, you could see it got under his, under his feet and one of their defenders then came in as well and kind of they it looked like he kind of kicked it so it kind of took it away from okay. him whereas I think if he had, he had a steady run on goal he would have scored earlier on but um, yeah the, those were the two chances uh, that were of note but I thought we were, we were playing decent football. I thought Josh Cullen was kind of bossing the midfield quite well. He was. I know. I know you're a huge fan of Josh, but he he had a very good game. And in fairness, I I don't. I haven't seen him have a bad game. Yes. I mean, yeah. yes. I we we'll go on to Glen Whelan anyway for the Denmark one. But still, uh, Josh is a great prospect, and I've no doubt he's going to earn a lot of caps. Yeah. In that because um, he is. I I think now he's probably for the future and possibly even for the playoffs. The the option for that holding mm, role. I'd like to get him capped soon though because I, yeah, I still always have that thing in the back of my mind look we won't go into it but 
I'd like to just see him capped soon. I mean, yeah. what, you know, uh, he probably won't be against Denmark. Unless I'll put three or four nil up with five minutes to go, maybe throw him on. Against yeah. Denmark, yeah, that'd be <laughs> handy, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. Yeah, I'll stop taking these yeah. pills now. Yes. Yeah, OK. <laughs> but uh, no, just kind of, yeah. then they went down the other end and it was all us, I thought. It was all us. They weren't doing anything. Yeah. They didn't even really get up to our, you know, our box that often. And the one time that they did, they got a ball in uh, from the left-hand side and the man McKeow came in and scored. And I was just thinking, <laughs> I know. I was like, these shouldn't be one nil up in any way, in no. shape or form yeah, or they, any capacity. They, they didn't. No, they hadn't played together. They, I think they yeah. been international for nearly a year and a half. And Reid hadn't played yeah. for nearly two years as well. I think yeah. he's been out since March he's 2018. Injuries, yeah, yeah and he was yeah. a very good player, mind you, no. before that. Very good player. And a lot of clubs were looking at him. Yeah, I thought Troy he, done well up against him. I know. He did. Uh, the Troy gave him a good kick as well, which was nice. I, and I know Mick actually commented on that, that he, um, he was saying, look, he, Winston was kicking Troy quite a bit beforehand and yeah. uh, Troy stood up for himself. Yeah, it was a foul, but so what? Yeah. And uh, Mick was saying, look, this is you, 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 you need to learn this in men's football. You're going to be kicked as a centre forward and Mick would know all about centre forwards getting kicked as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I think I, I think it was good, good for Troy and it, it was good he stood up for himself. Possibly in a competitive environment, in a key game, a referee could... Uh, Take exception to that. I think uh, a friend. I think he'd, I think he'd be you know. warned if that was the case. I mean, there was a no. couple of times where he was getting fell consistently by their number five, uh, Michael Boxwell. He was constantly fouling Troy, oh. constantly, and uh, I could see him getting frustrated. But he kept his he kept his head. Oh, by the way, someone who we haven't even touched on because we kind of went on a bit of a, a tangent there. But Jack Brown was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Another good game. You know, brilliant. So, yeah. um, it wasn't an outtake any set pieces though, mind you. Robbie Brady kind of had Yeah, him Robbie that. took and Robbie t- t- some good, very good delivery as well. Yeah, um, but to be fair, Robbie set up the goal for De- Derek Williams did, just before half great, time. Yeah, so it was a great delivery. Yeah, yeah, that was my next point to go on to. But it was uh, J- Jack Byrne, I have to say, um, he did himself no harm in terms of you know he, he looked very, very, very comfortable at yeah. international level. Now I wouldn't be throwing him in against Denmark, and I don't think he will be put in against Denmark. No, I. I Probably, yeah, well, he definitely won't start. Um, yeah. Possibly if we're chasing a game, but I think I think he'll probably go with Alan Judge if we're chasing a game yeah. to bring on as a substitute. But Jack is an option, and I certainly going forward. In the, but if if we are unfortunately in the playoffs or something like that, or even the Nations League next year, um, I think we'll see a lot more of Jack. I think Jack needs to move to be a regular in the Ireland team. That's just my opinion on it. It's not. Um, it's not that I don't think he's good enough or anything like that. I do think it, but I think he needs to be playing against a, a higher standard um, consistently to be considered in the team. That's what I just think. Okay. And look, if people want to drop out, does that mean in the comments about that? That's fine. But I just that's my opinion on it. I think he's great. You know, I know him well from this season. You know, I've uh, had a lot of dealings with him. I spoke to him again last night. Um, he was happy with how he how he played and stuff like that. But it's just. What what I'm like it always sounds kind of you know like a little, little dig to the league of Ireland, but it's not. It's it's just common standard now that they won't. You look at Graham Burke had to had to move before he kind of got a bit of a run. Then you know. Yeah, but if anything, he kind of went backwards after he went to. I mean, yeah, after that, but, but to, Rovers, to get yeah, to it, well, yeah. I, I, he was playing with Rovers, and he scored for Ireland. Yeah, which I'd like to add. Um, but what I'm saying is he got a move off the back of that and then he was kind of seriously considered and he did start life well at Preston I'd like to add um, to be fair to him he just he doesn't seem to like the life uh, but okay. then again that might happen with Jack if he but went the back. thing is Jack he's, he's so happy at home mm. you know you can see it, you can see it in his football you can see it in his his demeanour when he's being interviewed he's living at home with his mother and yeah, he's playing such great stuff, and and I mean, we actually do need to develop the league. I mean, you do have a point. I mean, look, if we if haven't Jack had Bur- a regular starter, if Jack Burns yeah. starts, or sorry, stays in the league of Ireland, I'll be happy. But yeah. I'm just saying, for his own personal, um, international career, if he wants okay. to prolong it, I think he has to move to England. By all means, fans, get down and watch Jack Burns. The league is obviously over now, but get down and watch him, one hundred percent. But I, I just think that if he wants to prolong his international career, that's what I'm saying. So okay. I'm not saying anything about the league or anything about uh, him personally. It's just his international career, I think. But then again, Stephen Kenny's going to be coming in there, so you could be right. So 
Yeah. We'll just kind of wait and see how time, that pans up. Yeah. yeah, so sorry for kind of a bit of tangent on that. <laughs> but uh, I'm a bit passionate about that because I, I would like to see him get more game time, you know. Um, but as I said, uh, Williams got the goal, going in at half time, one all, which was key because we needed that goal. Just it would have been, yeah, it would have been bad. I mean, we had, we were much, we were totally on top for the whole 90 yeah. minutes. But to have gone in a goal down would have been a travesty. Yeah. In the second half, there was no changes um, till a half time, sorry. Uh, but we had we had chances again. Um, a Robbie Brady ball whipped in, and Sean McGuire just heads it wide of the yeah. post. Um, what did you think of McGuire? I, I thought he did very well. Now maybe the goal is. I mean, I know he's been given. I think man of the match in more in most places, uh, and the goal was fantastic. But uh, he wouldn't have been my man of the match. Now I thought he did pretty well, and he, he maybe again an option off the bench, which he probably wouldn't have been um, before the game started. Mm. But uh, yeah, he did have those couple of chances. But then the thing about Johnny Maguire is, you can go back to his League of Ireland and his Preston days. He's, I, I think he's one of these streak type strikers who, when he's on a run, he's scoring for fun, and then. He has um, dry spells or whatever, so maybe this is just the the start of another goal scoring. Um, it's great that he got his first goal. And yeah. If, if he came off the bench on Monday, he he might be the option. I don't know. I mean, but I wonder is James Collins not playing mean that James Collins is the option off the bench? I'm not sure, but it, but yeah. well, uh, the ball over by Robbie Brady obviously gets um, for the goal. It got intercepted uh, by their player, but I thought Williams again done well um, I think that might have been the, how he got the calf injury because I remember he won the ball back gave it to Troy Troy okay. uh, assisted Troy the, the ball for, nicely, for yeah. um, Shawnee yeah. and he buried it yeah it was oh, a great finish it's great goal just, yeah. it's just, and he said himself yeah. as soon as he left his boot he knew it was in and uh, you know I was delighted for him you could see how much it meant to him you know I was talking to him after the game but you just see how much it, it, it meant to him to get that goal and he was delighted just to get that weight off his shoulders that he needed he looked like the Sean Maguire from two years ago that we all wanted to see play. Yeah. Now, not, let's not get carried away with the opposition. They were poor. They were, but it's it's still good to get his first international goal. I'm not knocking that, but I'm just saying level. I'm just saying yeah. because I know there's people going, what are you talking about? It's only New Zealand. I get that. They're but, 121st in the world, you know. But if yeah. you want the really sickening thing is they're, they're probably going to be at, uh, if not at the next World Cup, they'll be at every World Cup after that because they've just got to beat the Solomon Islands and Western Samoa yeah. and whoever else over there. And, yeah. But look, yeah. as I say, um, I was delighted for Maguire on a, on a personal note and uh, as I said, um, on my, on my uh, after match reaction is that he's done himself no harm in regards to putting himself in contention for the yeah. game now on on Monday night he could be in contention to start like for me I, he did get my man of the match as well I didn't I didn't say it but I was saying to my mate before um, before they actually announced it, I said I'd probably give it to McGuire so for me he showed that because I think he's just been frustrated with injuries and he'd be in he was out and he's in and out and then he like Let's not forget, he started off the campaign starting against Gibraltar, you know? Yeah. Um, and then after that game, he and was kind of... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, it's good that he put himself in contention. It's good that we're scoring goals again. and Because uh, that's what we got, we, like, we kind of love to see. Again, Maguire, he, he was, was running the show then after that. I think the goal just... The, was, the, yeah, you, you could definitely see, um, I think that's probably why he did get mad at the match, it, it did lift a weight off him, his yeah. shoulders and he was he was absolutely flying. Yeah. And he that. nearly put Troy in and Troy, oh, I think everyone yeah, in the stadium was... Just, everyone wanted to try to score, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it, it was, was a good little, save, it was a good save by the keeper. You yeah. Know, I thought he was going to show his little bit of cleverness like he normally yeah. does and round the keeper and dink it or something like that because he is a very clever player, yeah. Troy, uh, for his age as well. But uh, no, look, he, he, yeah... McGuire tees up that and then um, the subs all came in Burn went off um, I was kind of wanted Jack to finish the game as he played the full 90 but I thought, uh, he just didn't him and Troy went off for Alan George and Callum Robinson then yeah. thought George was good at getting on the ball getting into little pockets of space but he wasn't really doing anything other than that um, and then Robinson obviously gets his goal but we'll kind of come, come, come on to that but yeah. th there was other subs then that came on that didn't really do anything I mean Travis I, I thought Robinson did well as well when he came on and I uh, of all the players that, that we saw last night, he's probably the one, I think, that's going to start on Monday. Yeah, I thought that myself. Yeah. And I think the fact that he's got that goal. The thing is, he came on pretty much as a centre-forward last night. And he scored a very centre-forward goal. 
Let's not take away from the absolute world-class cross from Leo Connor. It was brilliant. It, I mean, and, and we got to mention Lee because I thought he had a fine game. Mm -hmm. He's very composed, very tidy for another young lad, still a teenager. 19. And, yeah, and it was, a, it was a brilliant cross. It was um, right in his head. I, I don't think Lee put a foot wrong at the in the whole game, you know. Yeah, and, that's uh, how he was at Yeah, and look, I, he's gone back to the under-21s and I understand that and I accept that. And I'm actually glad because we need the under-21s to be great if they could qualify. But I just hope Lee gets some game, game time at Celtic because then he's going to come. We're pretty blessed with right-backs with Seamus Coleman and Matt Doherty, but it's no harm having another option. And, yeah. Uh, and Lee actually, well, I think he is a full back, but he played um, he he centre midfield for the under 19s. And, left back he and played. he's played left back before, but even for the under 19s in Armenia, he, play, he played the holding role in the midfield as well. So And they missed him big when, they, when he was suspended, he missed out on the game. He loves the yellow card, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. He's actually not, but he's, he's not that. I know, he's yeah. He's no way a dorky yeah. player, you know. That's yeah, yeah. the. The surprising thing, you know. I just like to get stuck in, but there's no, so. nothing wrong with that uh, from a defensive point of view. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, other than that, kind of the the only real chances I had, they had a. You mentioned Leo Connor there. Just uh, remember, O'Hara made a save and he, he, really he save headed it half, above, yeah. uh, headed out of play. Then O'Connor did. He done well to cover that. Yeah. Um, they were the real contributions from O'Connor. I think that kind of stood out for me. Um, played the full ninety as well, which I thought was big. You know, so. uh, didn't look out of place as well. So for for me, there's a lot of players there that had really good games and gave some, make something to think about in the future. The, the, other the other thing I'd like to mention is the two centre backs. I know they're more established players. At uh, Kevin Long, okay, he hasn't played very. He's played very little this season, but I, I, I thought he had a fine game. And the 90 minutes will stand to him. And Kieran Clark was playing regularly. Mm. Um, he also had a fine game. No, I, I know you might say they weren't. It was New Zealand. They weren't pressurised. He was a good player. But they, they did. They, they had a good game. And we're well stocked at the back. I mean, I hope nothing happens to Shane Duffy or John Egan and they're going to start. But um, we are back to the stage where we're starting to look comfortable again with the with our defence that we've got options mm. the only thing is you just touched on the defence there is obviously when Williams went off that we had a kind of a lack of balance at left back obviously without doubt coming on there to play there yeah no he's not a left back but I think Mick he was only going to let certain people on the pitch he wasn't going to risk any Stevens yeah. or anything yeah, like yeah. that you know but the other the only other subs then that we did mention were Howard and and, uh, and Collins now um, I thought uh, Travers made one good save as well he got down very low I think People say it's straight at him, but it was kind of the way he got down to save it with his hands. I thought it was impressive um, because it was a low shot. He like, could probably okay. go went with his legs and it wouldn't have looked as good. But um, I'm surprised that he didn't start over um, O'Hara. I thought Travers would have been second choice of anyone, but it's not really. I, I wonder. Well, you see, he, this is the opposite of what he did in the Bulgaria yeah. game. He started Travers and brought on O'Hara. Yeah. yeah I, I well, if anything happens to Darren Randolph, I think Travers is second choice. Right. But he it was, was no harm in giving them both a run. Yeah, maybe you know. he was just doing it to see what he if he could handle the occasion. Yeah. Maybe. I don't it's know. no harm in getting... I think it's good that these guys have got get a couple of caps under their belt and if, if they're called on in a serious competitive That's game, why I think the friendlies yeah. are good, is that you yeah. get to see the likes of Troy and Jack and Kieran and Mark Travers and all these players get a run. Uh, Collins, when he came on, didn't have that much time to get stuff. He had a one-on-one -on -one chance... Um, where he probably should have went down and got a penalty. Okay. Um, the keeper made a good save out of it. And then his only other contribution was, I think he closed the ball down or won the ball back. And then that was led to the Robinson goal. Yeah, so I think he only got a few minutes at the yeah. end, wasn't it? Yeah, so it was... That's 15, I think. Yeah, oh, was it actually 15? Didn't yeah, it, was right, that long, it might not have been that long. Yeah, yeah 73. I, I, I wonder, is he um, been being looked at as possible the first option off the bench? Off the um, bench, possibly. I'd say McGoldrick yeah. is... And oh, McGoldrick's going to Don't think it's any yeah, it's, uh, it's secret. Not, it's not in doubt. We come on to the starting yeah. 11, but it's, I don't think that's in doubt. Yeah, but that's really it in terms of the final word. As I said, happy. Um, glad to see some youth in there. And uh, it was a good... It was a good uh, what was it? I was going to say a good experiment. Experimentation. Is that what the word I'm looking for? But I just thought overall I was, I was happy and the fact that they brought in new players to have a look at and see how... I, and I thought everybody had a good game. Not one person yeah, had a bad game. Robbie Bailey looked a little bit sluggish. Yeah, the, well, I suppose the one thing, and Mick did say it, was uh, 
if, if, Rob, if Robbie Brady is going off, it's a sign he's in his plans. I, yeah, Robbie probably needed the game time. He probably needs, so mm. I don't think Robbie's going to start on on Monday. I mean, he probably, you were looking for Robbie to come off after 45 or 60 minutes. Yeah. Um, I, I did like his delivery, and I, I, I keep coming back to this, I know, but it's, it's crucial for us with our style of football and our way of getting goals is we need very good delivery from set pieces. And uh, Conor Horan gives us that, but uh, Robbie Brady also. Yeah. And I think Robbie, if Robbie's back at the top of his game, he's going to be on a lot of the set pieces. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't really argue with that. Overall, uh, how would you have rate, rated the performance yourself? I gave it an eight out of ten just because I was happy with the way everyone played and the subs and everything like that. Yeah, I mean, maybe seven and a half. I was happy. It was. Still, the, the opposition uh, yeah. has to be taken into account. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it was a good night. And, but all all that matters now is Monday. And that's yeah. all that really mattered anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, what did you think of the New Zealand game? Who stood out for you? And um, is there anyone there that you feel should be included in maybe the starting 11 on Monday? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. If you're a returning subscriber, Thanks for that. And if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now and we'll speak to you soon. Make sure to check out our content for all things Denmark um, coming up now in the next couple of days. And as well as that, there's a James McLean press conference uh, out soon as well. Thanks for watching. We'll speak to you soon.